What BAMs don't do with stone is really not something you can easily explain because it's, you know, we're, we're talking about something that comes out of the ground and BAMstone turning into whatever we want it to be. I'm Mark from Mark Browning Landscape Design. I designed this garden in memory of my mother with the specific understanding that I only wanted to use bluestone as the main feature stone within the product or the main structural element within the, the show garden. So it was sort of a bit of a no-brainer from the start and wanting to do a garden that was really organic in shape rather than rectangular and, or square. You know, I wanted all of these curves to flow and I spent a lot of time with, with, with Tony working out how to bring all of that to life and we spent a lot of time selecting stone that would work around both external curves and, in, and internal curves and, and uh, yeah, his attention to detail was just incredible. Bamstone's technology in how they cut stone and how they shape stone is incredible. It really is. And it, it has been for a long time, but I think over the last few years, with the, the use of the more use of wire saws and probably dragging CAD technology into it as well as sort of just completely altered the experience. Look, I'll be honest, I love all stone. Um, I love Mansfield mudstone, I love Mount Alexander granite, Wistow, all, all of them. They're all beautiful products, but I think, I think the veining in bluestone is really what yeah, it just, it is such a unique product.